Hey y'all, it's Charity, and I'm here with a quick look at my printer. Um, I've been asked recently what printer I use, and that is the Epson Workforce 7720. I've also been asked how I um, load the oversized paper. So I'm, I have here with me a piece of Crafting Besties 13 by 19. So I'm going to set that up up top. But um, I will be honest, I do experience a good amount of paper jams if I just lay paper in here and go. Uh, one thing that I do like about this is that this adjusts specifically to your paper size. So if I have like an eight and a half by, let me just grab a regular paper, like an eight and a half by 11 regular piece of paper, you can come all the way till it's tight and then you can scoot it up and this moves. This is stops at a letter at letter paper which I'll show you in detail but it it's literally this is dusty but it's literally marked on here for you um uh well I guess I can't really show you how you would go about adjusting let me move this back and show you what I mean I just take the tray out actually so and taking the tray out, you see, this is actually a letter. So here we are. That's a good stopping point. You know what I'm saying? So you can adjust. The, the blue tabs are what you touch to release. And I have this, ex this part extended. But it actually... So <clears throat> let me show you how. An eight and a half... So it would, this is the way your tray comes, one level, which fits all of your, you know, standard size pieces of paper or in, in medias. So you adjust the tightness here and then we'll push that back. Well, and because this is a, a letter, sorry. I know you have to kind of get familiar with your paper names and length. Like for example, 13 by 15 is 13 by 15. 13 by 19 is super B. So eight and a half by eleven is letter, which is where this little mark ends. So this is how it starts. But when you go into bigger, I'm gonna put it in, but I'm going to uh release this button. See in that brings out this little second layer which extends this so that your paper will fit let me show you like uh, uh oh here it is 11 by 17 and this is this is like a super b or maybe it's a3 or something whatever the papers that you have will be here okay so, simply for my Craft and Besties paper, now I don't lay it down all the way. My little trick is that I leave this up. I leave this like it's doing uh, something for a letter. And then I adjust this, obviously, to, uh oh, sorry, y'all gonna see toes, to 13. It like this have it all the way out and pressed pretty much all the way up here but um for me this little bump i mean leaving that leaving that up and out works for me so typically when you put your paper in or when you you know put your tray back in it's going to ask you to adjust whatever However, at this point, I've already uh, made a decision to print. And it's basically telling me my paper doesn't match. Um, so you just click done when that happens. 
and if I had regular premium paper that I was actually wanting you pick the paper that you actually want to use so I want to use super B which is a3 plus premium matte that's the setting that I would click you could click this and go that way but I'm going to show you what happens when you click the right thing you can either go close which should take you back or print and that's what I'm going to do um, it often tells you firmware is available but don't worry watch how easily this feeds in no problem no jams so yeah this is how you um, upload the large scale paper. You also do the same thing. You have this lower tray, pull it out, which it does the same thing. It does the same thing. Um, these also come with like these little tray covers, which this right. I don't know if it's a tray cover, but this prevents your paper from flowing back in here so this kind of helps you you know have your paper come out smoothly I don't typically use it but that's what it's for I realized um same things here uh -oh. Ooh, sorry same things here I have some boxes I need to get back to the shed same thing here more adjustment different um you know paper lengths and if you guys watch this video what's printing is my doormat so you're pretty much seeing in real time the speed um and how that works but as you see no jam so it's it's to me it's not a it's worth okay let's put it like this I pay too much for my paper to waste it basically so me putting in one one sheet of 13 by 19 at a time is worth it to me one it doesn't print super fast at 13 by 19 and two I don't waste paper like I know I'm gonna put this in walk away and keep going on with my next task see you again in about you know a minute so that's that this is printing so this will likely be a separate video um just giving a quick description on, on how you upload your paper any paper you just basically adjust your settings so that you won't i think i mean not i think but that obviously prevents excuse me jams and you know things like that so it's kind of not kind of it's important because you could also slide some paper in and not have it adjusted and then it'll just print out cricket like you know what I'm saying so on your paper you'll have your your print it's perfect print but it's just wrong like I don't know if you know you know basically listen to me I'm trying to help you out and we're about to work on this mat thanks for watching bye